Hello and welcome to this short video about some exam tips for the AWS certifications. I passed four of them, so I hope I can give you some useful hints. Let's get an overview of what we see. So, first of all, you have to know IAM and security, which is going to be always a major topic in the exams. Another major topic is VPC and networking. You should definitely know. Concerning the other services, as you know, there are tons of it and you cannot know all of them. So we're going to look what is important to pass questions about not so famous services. Then an important topic is the five pillars of the well-architected framework, which are going to help you on the last topic here on the list, uh, how to read the keywords and the questions. This last point here, read the keywords, is for me one of the most important things here in this video. Because if you um, read the questions really good and take care of some words, you're going to answer the questions. So we're going to look how to read the questions and find the keywords. Talking about IAM, you should definitely know users, roles, groups, policies, identity providers, Cognito and more. And let's have a look on a typical question. You're developing a meal planning application that provides meal recommendation for the week as well as food consumption of your users. Your application resides on EC2 instance, which requires access to various AWS services for its day-to-day -day operations. Which of the following is the best way to allow your EC2 instances to access your S3 bucket and other AWS services? Please take a look on the possible answers. And of course, this is number two, create a role in IAM and assign this to the EC2 instance. Probably gonna get one of this or a similar question in the exam. Next question, please read the question your own and you can maybe pause the video for a second before we're going to look on the correct answer. So we have five possible answers and the right answers are of course groups and identity providers please take a look in the im dashboard to verify this could be also one of a possible questions concerning im next one please read the question and pause the video for a second when you're done we have five possible answers and we have two correct answers and this is AWS Director Service AD Connector and IAM roles. So these were three examples on IAM question. Let's have a look on security. So concerning security, you should know, of course, anything about the VPC security, security groups, access control lists, VPN, and more, of course, encryption at rest, encryption in transit, the AWS web application firewall, new service, also guard duty, inspector, KSM, secrets manager and systems manager, and so on. These are things you have to know. Let's have a look on a typical question. Please read your own. Pause the video for a second. We have four possible answers. So the right answer is use web application firewall. And to answer this question, if you read the question here with SQL injection attempts and cross-site scripting attacks, this is the kind of a point we're going to cover in chapter three. So know the services. How good do you have to know um, Amazon web application firewall to answer this question? Well, let's have a look on the um, description and you can already find here in the very beginning of this description of this um, of the service the answer on this question so you don't have to work for three years with web application firewall to answer the questions everything is everything you need to know you find here in the very beginning and description of this service and this is for many services the essential thing read the first page and get an overview so next question, please read this question and pause the video. We have four possible answers. And 
again, the correct answer is the secrets manager. Of course, you can also store secrets, um, which is a good uh, practice in the systems manager. But to encrypt and rotate um, AWS sequence manager is the better service. So take a look um, in the description for AWS Secrets Manager and also again you're going to find these keywords already on the very first page for the service. One more question on security. Please read the question and pause the video. We have four possible answers. So the important thing here is um, the um, master key and the unencrypted data should never be sent to AWS. And this means we have to use client-side encryption with client-side master key. Next, VPC, a major topic in all exams. Of course, more in the solutions architect than in the developer, but you definitely have to know VPC by heart to pass the exam. So you need to know the security. We already covered this. You have to know everything about VPC and subnet, access controllers, endpoints, gateways, CloudFront, Route 53. Now let's have a look on a possible question concerning VPC and networking. True or false, a subnet can span multiple av availability zones. And of course, it cannot. So this is one of the simpler questions. Uh, one more question. Please read the question. Pause the video. If you're done, we have four possible answers. And of course, the answer is only VPC1 because Transitive peering is not allowed. VPC B can only communicate directly with VPC A. One more question. In which of the following levels can VPC flow logs be created? There are three correct answers. And the answers are the VPC level, the subnet level, and on the network interface level. So one more question on and correct is number three. So from zero 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 slash zero to your internet gateway. So next we talk about important services. Here's an overview of the services um, or categories of services you have to know to pass the exam. And of course you cannot know all of them. So we're gonna take a closer look on what you have to know um, of these services to be prepared for the exam. See you.